Hi, um, welcome back to the channel. Okay, uh, so we're going to look at um, an interesting question. Uh, it's from among these questions that we have right here. It's actually question 12. Uh, question 12a, this one right here, which says uh, show that the distance between the parallel lines AX plus BY plus CZ is equals to D1 and AX plus BY plus CZ is equals to D2 is... Um, we have to show that the distance is uh, is given by that by this expression that we have there, which is uh, a rational expression whose numerator is uh, the absolute value of uh, d1 minus d2. Then the denominator is the um, that's a radical. Uh, that's a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Okay. So this is a pretty interesting question. It's um, it's actually going to give us a lot of insight about how we are going to be doing uh, questions uh, related to this. So we are given two uh, planes that are said to be parallel. There's one that is AX, um, AX, plus, uh, AX plus BY plus um, CZ is equals to D1. Then we have another one uh, that is given as... Um, AX plus BY plus uh, CZ is equals to uh, D2. Okay, so we have to show to say the distance is given by that expression that we have there. So the idea, uh, um, the idea here is how you approach such questions when you're looking at for the when you're looking for the distance between two planes. Um, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind. First of, first of all, of course, you have to confirm if the planes are parallel. But since the question has already told me to say they are parallel, I don't need to do that confirmation. But it's a pretty easy um, um, way of doing it. So um, what I'll do is that I have two planes. Okay. So let me say this is plane one, and uh, this one here is uh, plane two. Okay. So. Instead of me using both the planes, I'm going to use a point and a vector. Okay, so I'm going to get a point from this plane. I'm going to get a vector from the other plane, or I can do it the other way around. I get a point from that plane, then I get a vector from the other one. I'm still going to um, end up with uh, uh, the same expression. Okay, so what I'll do here is that uh, this plane is very huge. Okay, it's very big, like it has, I can say it has infinity points, okay? So I would want to pick just one point on this same plane. So what do I do? Uh, I can pick any random point, okay? And I can pick in any random point. The easiest way to do it is I'm going to set Y and Z to be equals to zero, okay? You may can pick any other point, but that's just the, the point that I'm picking uh, just to simplify my work, okay? So this can be like AX plus, this is going to be B, y is 0 plus c z is 0 is equals to d1. You observe to say your ax is just going to be equals to d1. This tells us to say your x is equals to d1 divide by divide by uh, divide by a. So the point that we have picked, okay, the point that we have picked has um, has these coordinates. It has d1 over a comma 0 comma 0. Okay, so it tells us to say we have, um, this is what we have in the x, that's what we have in the y, and that's what we have in the z. This could be any other point, okay, that could be any, that could be any other point, it's still going to work out. So, um, I'm going to have to pick a vector in this other plane, okay. So the vector that I'm going to pick is, um, I would say n, okay, it's going to be equals to, it's just this coefficients, the a, b, and what? And C. So this is going to be A, comma, B, and the C there. Okay. So now, uh, the question is, what formula do we use to find the distance between uh, a point and a plane? The, 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 the formula is simply D is equal to the absolute value of, you're going to have um, A multiplied by X naught plus B multiplied by Y naught plus uh, C multiplied by Z naught plus D like that, then divide by, um, divide by, you have the this radical expression, so here this is going to be a squared plus b squared plus c squared like that, 
okay so this is the formula that we use to find the distance between a point and a plane so I have a point and I have um, that vector there from one of the planes or this other plane okay so let's go ahead and uh, do the computation but you have to keep in mind to say this a here is the same as that one there the B is that one the C just like that then the a naught sorry the X naught Y naught and Z naught is just coming from uh, that point there so this is going to be equals to absolute value of where this a there we put the capital letter a that we have multiplied by X naught our X naught is simply D1 over over a like that then we say plus uh, our B we still put B there then our Y naught is a zero plus uh, we say C our Z naught is a zero then we say plus what plus a D so this D is the one that we are talking about here so since this is a plus like when it goes on the other side it's going to be negative so we can just uh, write minus minus uh, D2 there like that then divide by it's just going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared plus plus c squared what does this now give us as a final expression so I'm going to say d is equals to we have this rational expression here of course on the bottom you're going to have a square root like that so on top you observe to say this is going to be 0 and that's going to be a 0 so a multiplied by d1 over a that's just going to be d1 okay then here you have a what you have a minus minus d2 on the denominator you have a squared plus uh, b squared plus c squared and this is what we are looking for so after I have done that you can just say hence shown and it was as um, easy as that. So that's how you answer this question. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.